Hey guys, it is another day. So, it is day three of uh, Operation Lawbringer. Just got done with my swim in the ocean. Really fun stuff. That's the Atlantic behind me. Pretty cool stuff. So today, um, I'm really excited because I want to talk about uh, the universal law, right? And so how that is, is uh, it's really cool. I feel like I should talk about while I was swimming. So something like while I was swimming, what was going on, I had this moment where I like going to uh, swimming because I enjoy the challenge and, you know, working out and doing that. But something I came to see is that I think especially when you got a lot of things going on, it's really important sometimes to let things that might that might be a challenge or you might view as more of an obstacle to break through and let them be more of a healing experience. Oftentimes when I go in the ocean, I just like go kind of Beowulf style. Like I, I, I don't have swim trunks right now, so I kind of just go out, you know, buck ass naked and um, I realized kind of being that vulnerable and that exposed, especially like when there's waves, right? Like if you can see, there's some pretty intense chop. And my goal is eventually is I want to be able to go out and swim out in the really crazy stuff, um, which would probably really be really stupid and I might get myself killed. Um, I don't intend on that, but we'll see what happens. Um, but probably not. I, I don't think I'm meant to die out in the ocean. So yeah. Not everything's a challenge, but let's talk about the universal law. And that is the knowledge and awareness that all living things have within them, the vitality and strength to gather all things necessary for their growth and fruition. Now that's something, what that means is that you're not here to fail, right? You're not an accident and that the things that you feel and that you want in your life because you are a living creature, you have the capacity and the, the means, the strength, the power to get the things you need so that you can continue to grow in your eternal becoming, right? So that means if you're a writer or if you're a painter or any other type of artist, if you wanna be a business person, if you wanna be an athlete and you feel like you're far away from that goal, Within yourself, right now, you have the means to gather the things you need and bring that growth into yourself. So a good example would be like an apple, right? An apple has seeds within it, and those seeds have the information of many trees within them, right? And now when you plant that seed, and it is given the things it needs, water, soil, and sunlight, and then through that nutrition, it'll begin to grow. And then that tree will eventually, you know, grow to its stature and then it'll start producing apples, right? Because within that seed, it has everything it needs to become the tree and eventually bear more apples. So if you're an artist and you think, well, I suck, but I have all this art I wanna do, or I, you know, wanna be better at playing a sport but I'm terrible at it. You have within you the means and the power to gather the things you need around them. Now, that doesn't mean you don't need help out from outside sources, and that doesn't mean that you're not dependent on an ecosystem. It doesn't mean that you, know, you have to do these things in isolation or that even you can, right? Because remember, an apple seed, in order to grow, it needs soil, it needs sun, it needs water. Right? So just like you, a human being, in order to get your goals or to become the best possible version of you, you need other people, right? You need exposure. You might need education. You might need to travel. You might need to eat better food. Like, it doesn't matter. Um, it's different for everybody, right? But the same universal law applies, is that you have within you the necessary components to your greater unfoldment, to become what you need to become, right? So don't ever feel like you're far away from your goals. But something that might be getting in your way, I think especially in the modern day, something is, we're always talking about how everyone needs to be strong and independent and do things alone. And I think it's very important to recognize that 
not everything that is out there, I think especially with the modern day, um, is has your unfoldment and your betterment in mind. It doesn't really care, right? And they just, they have their own betterment in mind. But I think it's when you recognize that certain things play a role and when their role is fulfilled, they're able to bring more abundance into the earth. A good example is the sun. The sun shines and sits in the sky. I can't see the sun right now, but I can see its influence, right? I have daylight, I'm able to talk into this camera, and you guys can see my dark ass, um, even though, you know, there's no visible sun. So the influence of the sun is here, right? Just like the influence of things and the people around you. Sometimes they might not necessarily be directly in your lives, but they're still influencing you. And because of that influence, they're able to give you the things you need so that you can do the things you need to do, right? So I'm able to film this and I don't need this crazy expansive light set because I have the sun doing the work for me. A good example is with that seed as well. That seed needs sunlight. It needs water. Those things aren't from the seed. If the seed was like, I'm gonna go it alone, I'm just gonna love myself into a tree, it will never do it. Because that's not how law works. That's not the universal law, that's not how the universe works. And so, because we're a part of the universe, we have to live by those laws. And so if you ask yourself, I've been going it alone and I've been struggling, and you don't feel like you're fully in that unfoldment, ask yourself, what am I not gathering or bringing within myself that I need in order to become? And recognize that most of the time these things will appear to be outside yourself, but they're not because it's part of your true nature because everything is one, right? And so we recognize that the sun is meant to sign on the seed and the seed is meant to grow. And then it is meant to become a tree and you know get water and that water just as much as it's meant to give life to me as much as it's meant to give life to everything in the ocean and be swam in it also gives life to that tree and it gives and that's what creates the apple and so you see how all these things are connected in one eternal universal truth one one law right and so it is this universal law that means that basically everything to be its full potential, it has the things within itself to become that. So specifically, if you're an artist, say, and you wanna become a better drawer of people, and you wanna figure out how to draw a human figure, you have the ability to gather the things you need to do that. So you have people, you have a pencil, you might have the will to do it, so you just have to do it. And so a lot of the time we're being held back by these limiting beliefs, by not understanding that the law remains true. There's never gonna be a time when you want something and you're not able to get it. You just have to be willing to take the steps. And you have to recognize until you fully, you don't necessarily need to master your, the first step. We'll talk about this more in later videos. But say for instance, I want to draw a human, but like I want to draw a certain character really well. If I want to draw a character, let's say like in The Girl and the Beast, let's say I want to draw a BB really well, which I do, so I need to start drawing and practicing. I need to learn how to draw human proportions well. I need to know how to draw a woman. I need to know how to draw like humans. I need to know how to draw a circle. And only in direct proportion of my mastery of those previous things will I be able to draw a BB right which is a more advanced construct so say for instance you're like well i want to make a comic book right okay well then you have to know how to draw a panel you have to know how to do all the things that build up to that just like before you can have an apple tree or an apple vineyard let's say you have a vineyard with many trees you have to know how to grow one tree and before you have to know how to grow one tree you have to have a seed and that seed needs water it needs sunlight but if you take that seed, you give it the sunlight, you give it the water and it grows, then you get more apples. And then with those apples, you can create your vineyard. And then you use the same principles, but it's compounded many times over. And that's how abundance is built. So we see that one successful act 
done repeatedly again and again creates abundance. That's why consistency and commitment and discipline are so important. Because if we are following the law, we recognize that I have everything that I need around me and within myself to gather the things for my own growth and fruition. That is the universal law. Remember that always. And so whenever there's a time you feel like, oh, I don't have what it takes or I don't have the things I need, remember you do. You just have to be willing to look outside past the illusion of self and see what are the things around me that I need to gather so that I can grow, so that I can plant myself in the ground and grow. And remember, a seed that is cast on hard ground and in the wrong place will be cast around and bounce around forever. But the minute it hits its proper place, it'll start growing instantly. So you just have to find the right things and then you'll start growing and you'll know it because yeah, you'll grow. And that'll be your way of knowing I'm getting the right things. So pay attention to your feelings, pay attention to your consciousness, pay attention to the feelings of expansion because that's when you know you're getting the things you need and then pay attention and keep giving yourself those things. And if you commit to the process of receiving those things, you'll continue to grow and produce in more and greater levels of abundance. And that's what it means to be a creator. That's what it means to get the books done, to do the art, to become the best basketball player, whatever you wanna do. You just gotta tap into that and be committed, be disciplined, but also be honest, be open. So yeah, that's the universal law, that all things have the knowledge and awareness to, and to bring, it is the knowledge and awareness that all living things have within themselves, the vitality and strength to bring and gather the things for their own betterment and fruition. So yeah, you have everything you need within you and around you. You just got to embrace it and live your truth. And sometimes that means by not living, not, sometimes the best way to live your truth is not be so committed to just yourself, if that makes sense. Anyway, got done being in the ocean, so now got more work. If you guys learned something new and you liked it, like and subscribe. Trying to build this channel up. My uh, goal, I don't know, let's see if I can get 100 subscribers by the middle October. Let's see if that can happen, that'd be cool. So I appreciate what you guys uh, do and watch this video. Hopefully you found something useful. Like and subscribe if uh, you enjoy it and wanna keep getting this. Um, look out for The Girl and the Beast Volume 3. The pre-orders start at the end of September. Pick yourself up a copy if this is past October 7th. It's gonna be awesome, that's volume three, I'm loving it. And yeah, follow me on Instagram. And uh, remember, stay happy, stay healthy. You have everything you need and you're not here to fail. Peace and uh, peace and love.